now we are going to talk about a very different kind of layout which I call flower layout. Now why do I call it a flower because it has a shape of a flower with some petals. So you can see whenever you see a flower it has a, a big middle and then we have five or six or four petals on uh, all of its sides. So this is called flower layout. Now why and when you should use it when you have a central item you have to focus on a product for example a mobile app or some uh, e-cigarette or something else. So whatever the product it, it uh, product will, will be it will be mostly in the middle of the layout in the center of the highlight. So it is uh, good for highlighting different like four or five or six or seven different features of a product. Normally it will have like um, you must have at least four different things uh, around the central item uh, like four different features to eight you can present them in this layout. Uh, I'm going to show you a few arrangements then we are going to look at few examples how others are using it and how I have used it in my previous designs. So let's see some arrangements. Now this is a very simple arrangement which uh, we have seen a lot of times but maybe you might not recognize it. The product is in the middle. It could be a mobile app. It could be some perfume or anything else. And then we have features over here. Feature 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is actually I'm using 6 petals of this flower. So I call it flower layout. Uh, others might not call it uh, flower layout. They might call it something else. But for simplicity and to understand the idea of this layout, this is a flower shaped layout and this is a very typical example of it. Now I have turned on my columnar grids, 12 column grids and you can see over here how I have used this same uh, flower layout to my benefit. So we have a product image in the middle. At the top we have a heading. On the right we have two features, on the left we have two features with some text and in at the bottom we have buy now button. So it is still flower layout but it has one, two, three, four, five, six petals and I have used my heading and buy now button in the same arrangement of a flower layout. I hope you have learned a lot and how you can use it. Now let's see some examples. Let's go ahead and uh, let me show you my design first. Now this is one of my old design which I think I won the competition and this is a design competition entry and you can see over here, uh, here in this portion over here this is basically an e-cigarette and uh, you can see I am using this same flower layout. We have the product in the middle, on the left we have cartridges and batteries, on the right we have some features like portable charging pack, uh, cartomizers, uh, traditional tobacco menthol and all those different features. On the top we have heading and subheading tagline. Then at the bottom we have buy now button. So this is uh, using, I'm using over here flower layout. Uh, you, uh, you might maybe misjudge it that it has three columns but still it is a flower layout. We have like uh, everything arranged around this middle object. Uh, so here we have another one. This is not flower layout. It is basically three columns. So, oops. So this is what I wanted to show you that you can use flower layout like this in these uh, different ways. Now I'm going to show you a few more examples. Now this is a second example and uh, here you can see this designer he has or she has used uh, this design very uniquely because you can see this shape or this product over here is in a 3D format. It's uh, on in a perspective uh, uh, perspective layout and we have again the same thing going around over here. So uh, this product is in the middle we have agility, focus, vitality, energy and product attributes at the bottom that are actually making a flower layout but uh, here you can see that it is a bit shifted in, in, the, in this direction. So on the top we don't have any petals over here so you can say it is a half flower layout but it is almost flower layout which I call flower layout. Product is in the middle and everything else is around it. 
so this is basically another use of flower layout again this is another website from some uh, russian designer and you can see over here again we have product in the middle and everything is on the left and right and at the bottom is this is again a use of flow flower layout and you can see over here that uh, it is not using any heading at the top and we have um, one two three four five six on the left and right and seven is the basically uh, the button over here so this is again flower layout you can use that in a lot of ways you can see over here here we have icons with text and a button and an image so this is another way here is another example of flower layout uh, although you cannot seem to recognize it that it's flow flower layout but i think it is flower layout you can see this sherlock holmes in the middle is almost the middle of this design or the center point of this design then we have one two three uh, around it then we have this sherlock this is also uh, the heading but it is you know uh, around this main character of this series so this designer they have used this in a you can say creative way because everything is uh, layout in a different way so you can see here we have image and text on text at the bottom then image text on the left image text on the right image text on the left image text on the image and then we have this heading so this is another creative way i am just trying to open up your mind uh, in different creative layouts because this is going to help you a lot while you are designing don't try to bound yourself into uh, grids of four like this like four equal items try to vary your design try to have some uh, use some creativity in your layouts i hope you have enjoyed this uh, flower layout um, lecture or lesson if you have any questions to ask me let's move on to the next lesson